How's it going everyone? It's your man Lost Disciple, the voice box of the Underground YouTube, and you might remember that Logan Paul video I made where I went over the whole uh, George Janko, Logan Paul beef. That all kind of stemmed from the Bobby Lee situation, or the Bobby Lee podcast, where Bobby Lee basically sexually harassed George Janko the entire time, and he kind of had to just sit there and put up with it until he couldn't, and he just ended up walking out. You know, your patience can only draw so thin before you end up, it ends up snapping and you just fucking freak out. Either you either flip shit on the person and whip their fucking ass or you just remove yourself from the situation. And that, you know, that takes a lot of, takes a lot of willpower, like I said, and, and George did that. I, it's something I could see myself doing realistically because I do have a lot of patience when it comes to dealing with hard-headed people. But uh, eventually one day I'm going to have to give somebody the case of the beats, but let's hope that doesn't ever have to happen. Ever since this whole beef started, like a lot more people have started to look more into the, uh, basically in more into Bobby Lee's character. Ever since George Janko brought it into question with, you know, him mentioning all the sexual assault shit that was basically going on on the podcast. He was touching his meat and all that other shit. And apparently he, like, literally Bobby pulled his pants down and had George take, like, took George's head and basically made him sniff. I don't smell good on my bottom because, you know, I, I because, you know, what? here's the thing is, is I'm single now and I've been. You want to smell my one one of us in this room? Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Smell my because I have no cologne here, but I spray the f on my. Why? Maybe Mike, you want to smell? I would. No, I... you are. No, you are. No, qu no question. Question. I'm not gonna pull it out. I'm gonna just do the underwear. Question. Question. It would be him. It would be George. Yeah, yeah, George. It would. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, well that's why I wanted to smell. Or maybe like, yeah, 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 he'll yeah. know the smell too. So, don't worry about it, guys. I'm not gonna kill anything. A lot of weird shit was going on, and now it's basically a lot more people are because it's starting to become more aware. A lot of people are starting to raise their eyebrow, like, what the fuck is going on here? And ultimately brought into question Bobby's overall character. For those of you that don't know, Bobby Lee was born September 17th, 1917, in San Diego, California. And he didn't start his comedy career till like around the late 1990s. He did some work on some TV show called Mad TV. I don't know too much about it. I never really watched it. Around that time, I wasn't even like really fucking watching, like cognitively watching TV. So I don't really know too much about it. But he also was in like this Pineapple Express movie. Like, again, never watched it. I do remember seeing like video clips of it when I was a kid growing up because I think that's like 2008. And he was in the Dictator movie. I watched that movie and I never even noticed if Bobby Lee was actually ever even in that movie. I, I didn't even really recognize him. But now that I'm going back and looking through the pictures, I do kind of remember seeing him. I just didn't know that was who he was. And uh, he also has his own podcast. Um, I never really watched it. I do believe he showed up a couple times on Joe Rogan's podcast here and there. I do, rem I do remember seeing clips of him. He's kind of like, uh, I don't know if he's too reoccurring like how Joey Diaz is. But no, nah, he's definitely, I've definitely seen him on Joe Rogan's podcast. Because Joe Rogan does hang out with a lot of, uh, what are they called? Comics? or comedians i don't fucking i think they're both actually and uh i'm pretty sure like i said he has starred in one of them and up until recently i haven't heard too much about him up until he did the uh logan paul podcast and all this shit came out apparently right not even apparently given he he sexually harassed george on that whole podcast uh everybody else kind of joked and laughed it off from what was said like I, in the mat last video that i mentioned it was, I think George was meant there to kind of be the punching bag of the show, because I guess that's, they all kind of knew that's how, that's Bobby's whole, like, shtick, is to just kind of creep people out. And I don't know what kind of comedian who thinks it's funny just to be fucking creepy. Like, there's actually different words for that, and, like, and it's really just being a fucking weirdo. Realistically, I didn't think that was part of comedy. I feel like, so, like, it dep and really, like, looking at some of the shit that he, get, that he did that we'll get into, I feel like some people, you know how, they say like people that like children, for example, they put themselves in situations in careers or whatever where they can have more access to, to being kids like babysitters, daycares, teachers or Hollywood if they can even get that big, you know, shit like that, you know. And what if Bobby is like, just like just a weirdo and he was just like, I'm just going to do everything under comedy because that's kind of how it seems like what he's what he does. And uh, like I was saying, like one of his sticks is just known to just weird people out and creep people out. And they kind of knew that in advance, and they kind of needed George to be the punching bag of all these little comedic jokes, which is fucking weird when you really think about it. Like when you start breaking shit down, and even like in the um, like going looking at the podcast, you could see like Logan, 
because George didn't mention something about not wanting to get fired. You can see Logan just kind of looking at him like, dude, you got to let this, like, you got to do it, bro. Like, if you don't do this, like, you're ruining everything. And, like, everybody else is, like, Mike is sitting in the corner laughing at him and shit. And George is clearly, like, dude, fuck this shit, bro. Mm -hmm. And, nah, it sucks, definitely. Like I said, it takes a lot of patience to be able to put up with shit like that. I don't know how the fuck, like, you, especially when he grabs your head and makes you sniff. I don't even know how you even let that. Like, I understand, like, the whole fire thing. But that would right there would have been it for me. I would have been like, dude, you need to, like, I'm, we're going to have to start throwing fisticuffs because this shit is getting ridiculous. And it turns out that Bobby, this isn't Bobby, this is Bobby's first time, like, actually, basically sexually assaulting someone. He can't even say borderline. Because if you do something like that and the person doesn't reciprocate that energy the same way, then you're basically assaulted them. Because that's kind of far. Like, there's difference between, like, making, I guess, like, even a joke is weird, a gesture. But shit like this is just flow blown like sexual assault. I think we can all agree. Like, come on, he was even grabbing his dick. But like I said, that's not Bobby's first time. There's actually clips of him on the internet, on YouTube, of him basically like kissing like female like um, interviewees, or, like they're the interviewers, ladies who are just there like with him, and he just basically just randomly kisses them. Like this is not some like some new shit. This isn't that he's been fucking doing for years now just creeping people out and sexually assaulting people. Then there's this one lady, right, who knew in advance this is the type of shit that he did and sat on the opposite side of him between a, her and a male co-host so that way she couldn't just be assaulted, I guess, so easily. And Bobby still went around, kissed her, forced himself to like on her to, like, to kiss her. And then, right, to top it all off on top of that, she, the, he, he repeatedly did it. Then he goes in another time. And she tries to like get up and run, and he's like, "What are you doing? Don't like, we don't go nowhere. If you don't, if you do that, I'm never coming on this show again." Yeah. God, it's so cold. <laughs> Shally's scared. <laughs> Shally's a I'm little usually, scared. I usually enjoy sitting next to a guest because yeah, why I, won't you sit next to me? It's rude. <laughs> it's not rude. I requested it. I called my agent. I want to let's sit, sit, sit next to you. Come on, good to see you. Because you were on paternity leave last time, right? It's good to see you. Oh, I love it. I lived in oh, Europe for a while. That's how we can. That is how you yeah, that's how we can. Oh, did he lick you? Fine. Uh, I don't have the bird flu. My face is still wet. I feel you. Did he on lick my you? Face. What no, happened? It's, it's fine. It's, it's, there's there, a look, wet there, kiss. There's like little pecks, and then there's a kiss where you latch on and yeah. it gets a little wet. That's that kind of kiss. I'm marking you. <laughs> You're mine now forever. That's how, you've you, never man. had athlete's foot? No. Oh, would you run and. No? Yes, okay. but I keep my feet clean. I'm a little and, dirty, that's all. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you thought you can get away by sitting oh, over God, there? I love this morning show. It's my favorite. Feel <laughs> good? You want me to do it again? Hey. What am I? What? 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 Where are you going? Do not kiss my ankle. My ankle bone. My bone. Bad. Bad. I'm sorry. Come back. Everything's fine. Everything's fine, everybody. Everything's fine. Come back. I won't assault you anymore. No, I don't trust you. Why? Because I can see you <laughs> jumping a mile on away, me. And I see you too. You. If you get up again, I swear to God, I'm never going to come back here, okay? Can't really. I just wanna... <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like, huh? And then so she sits down, like gets kissed, and she's like grossed out because it's like all nasty. And then he comes and like kisses her fucking ankles. He does like some weird shit. And I don't know. He always kind of gave me weirdo guy vibes. Like I don't know. You could just I don't know. You could just tell certain people. And I never even knew this nigga was that famous or that popular. I know he was on Joe Rogan. So he had to have some sort of thing, because that's really the first time I've really seen him. Like I said, it was on the Joe Rogan podcast, and I didn't really notice and click that he was that popular till this shit. Like, But even then, like, okay, those movies and everything that he did was all old as fuck. And I'm certain if that's his form of comedy, dude, like, that shit's not funny. So, like, I was surprised to even hear that this guy has fans. It's ridiculous. And... I don't know, if you ask me, like I said, I think he just does a lot of this shit and covers it up under, like, the guise of it being a, a joke. It's kind of like when prank YouTubers and pranksters would go around and be like, oh, I'm gonna fucking smash all your windows to your car and flatten your tires or whatever, but it's just a prank for YouTube, bro. It's just a prank, don't get mad. Or, I'm gonna go in public and fucking, I don't know, do some stupid shit and, to you when you're at Walmart and just say it's a prank. I, you know how fucking pranksters are. They do all these stupid shit. And, and I don't know, I, I just feel like that's what it is. It's just him trying to hide everything under the idea of it just being a simple little fucking joke. And stuff like that is not a joke. Eventually he's going to do that to the wrong person. And they might just kill him, realistically. And I, can you even blame the person for wanting to do such a thing like that? I don't know. I, I think Bobby Lee, realistically, has always been a weirdo. Dude just was a closet, not even a closeted weirdo, an open weirdo. And he uses his 
position, I guess, to just kind of like force it to happen. And if you don't believe it, look, he even, he, I'm pretty sure he, now he didn't only say it to that lady, but I'm pretty sure he even said it during the Logan Paul podcast that if, like George doesn't come back, that he's never coming back on the show again after doing all that. And does that really matter? Does his influence even carry anything? Because I'll tell you what, I wasn't watching Joe Rogan episode because Bobby Lee was on it. I'm not doing all this shit because, well, now I am because Bobby Lee was in it, but I wouldn't watch an impulsive episode because it's Bobby Lee. Hell, I wouldn't watch any podcast because it was Bobby Lee. And I know I'm one of millions and billions of people, but I did not know that many people fucked with Bobby Lee that hard where he could tell somebody, listen, dude, I'm never coming on this podcast again if this dude or if this person doesn't sit here and let me sexually assault them. This is horrible. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Uh, leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you dislike it. As always, my name is Lost Disciple, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.